Hello and welcome to the show. My name is Alex and this is TechFlow. Why to bring you a special episode this week because I was sent these two products here from a company called Phone Salesman, as you can see, and they're promising me that I can charge my iPhone wirelessly. Now, here we go. I've got an iPhone here. This is a iPhone 6S Plus, and this is an iPhone 6S. Now, you're probably thinking, how can we actually charge an iPhone wirelessly? How can that happen? And from what I can understand here, we've got a QI Stone Plus, which is a wireless charger. So it's pretty much a portable battery bank, which has got, let me have a look. So this has got a 4,000 milliamp hour battery bank in it, right? So what this is gonna do is let us put this case, which is gonna be on our iPhone, on top of the QI Stone and have our phone, our iPhone, essentially wireless charging. Now I've also got an LG G3 here. This has wireless charging built in as standard. It tested, we've tested it, it's all working fine. So we're gonna see if this thing can, as well as charge the iPhone with the case provided, if it can actually charge uh, a wireless charging enabled phone like the LG G3. Let's get into this box here. Woo, very nice unboxing experience. Presented up front and center with the Q stone. Set that off to one side for a second. Whilst well, we've got in the box, we've got a two year warranty card and under here we've got a really, really nice little pouch. Keep calm and carry a Q stone. How about that? Underneath here we've got a little manual as well as a, well, two micro USB cables. One shorter one and one longer one. We'll figure out what they're for a bit later. Cool, right, let's clear some of the stuff off the desk. Some of the things that we don't need here is the main offender of the show. Let's get this out of this little plastic packet here. And, oh, wow. Okay, it's actually got a really nice rubberized texture feeling to it. That's amazing, it feels so strange. Got a little battery indicator down here. Looks like we've got uh, three out of four bars charged up, which is brilliant. On the back, a little bit of information. It says QI Stone Plus. It tells us the capacity uh, of the unit itself. Got four little rubber feet on it. Here we've got a micro USB in. I'm assuming that's for charging. And a USB out to charge a device. Let's just see if that USB port is actually for charging a device here. Let's plug in our USB cable into our QI Stone and plug in the LG G3. So that USB port is in fact charging the phone. That works fine. So you could in all essence use this thing as a small portable battery backup if you wanted. That's cool. Let's now test out the wireless charging with an iPhone. Delge in here to this, this little case. Here we go. Oh, we've got a micro USB cable. I think this case as well has a battery bank built into it maybe seeing as it has a micro USB cable, or is that just for charging the phone if you don't have this lying around? Maybe. Should we insert our phone into this now? Like so. It's all rubberized. It's a fairly nice little case actually. Not too bulky. Phone fits in. Really nice. Still got all my buttons here. Silent, mute switch, camera cut out. Looking fairly snazzy. This is how many buttons on it. It's really confusing. As soon as I pick it up, it like, puts the lights on it, it doesn't have any buttons on it. Right, so the lights have gone off on this little Q stone. If I pick it up, I really don't know how to do, tap it. I'm holding it. Oh, there we go, it's on. I, I don't understand how this works. I think it may have a little motion sensor on the corner there, but correct me in the comments if I'm wrong, this is really cool. So you can charge this thing up by placing it on another wireless charging pad, and this will charge up this little device. Oh, okay, and this little logo here, the phone logo, that is actually a capacitive touch button. So when you touch that, it wakes the battery pack. That's amazing, there's no physical buttons here. It's just a beautiful little elegant device. And it looks like the battery case it comes with also has a built-in battery pack at 1550 milliamp hours, and it's got a little button on the back to activate the charging. To start charging your iPhone, press the power button. So it's actually charging, we've got a battery indicator on the back of the device and it's charging my iPhone as you can see there with this battery backup. Case feels really nice. Right, so let's press the capacitive touch button on there. It's woken up this little device and if we place this on here, we're beeped and we're charging wirelessly. Whoa, <laughs> that was wicked. What? Wait, listen for it. 
Charging. Wait, my phone's on silent. Let's do it again. Hey, there we go. That's cool. So it's charging up the internal battery pack and the phone from this wireless charger, which can also be placed on a desktop wireless charger, so you can have a, a stack of wireless chargers. Amazing. And this thing is just gorgeous. Right, this is where things are gonna get interesting. We've got the LG G3 here, right? This is a wireless charger. Is it only gonna communicate with this case or is it gonna work with a standard wireless charging phone like the LG G3? Charging, amazing. Wait for it, you can hear it say it's charging. Place the LG G3 on it. Charging, look, see the battery life there going up in the top corner? You see that, right? You know what, this, is cool. It will be better if it had 10,000 milliamps in it. And I'm not sure how fast it's gonna charge up your device or if it's practical, but the concept is there. I've never really experimented with wireless charging being an iPhone user myself, but this, this is cool. I came back for the music.